Alright guys, hey, hello, welcome back. Playing with Berseria. It is a mob. I heard it squeaking at me. It's kinda close. Oh shit, perfect. Look at that. Um, let's just go fight this witch, I guess. Flame witch. Um, there's a lot going on right now. I want to know who's the person that uh, manages to poison everybody. They have a lot of AoEs. There we go. So if I'm not mistaken, we had to go with this. Maybe, I'm not entirely sure. But... Uh, some gargoyles over here. Just fight them, I guess. Oh, there's a lot going on. Thanks to Magalu and uh, Lofty said, there's always like tons of AoE going on. It's hard to realize what's going on. I still hate the flying enemies. They're like absolute bullshit. I don't know, that was probably unnecessary, but... Damn it. It literally hit me right after, like, that scene. Victory is ours. Don't worry. Alright, let's go get that, uh, sparkly over here. Well, I hope this is the right way. I don't think I've ever been down this way because it hasn't been like still uh, fog of war. I'm not sure that's the correct terminology, but it, it fits. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, I think this is it. P3. Music though. Hopefully, they're not too strong. Oh, it actually is a headless knight. Maybe I could uh, skip around him. Uh, see if there's any items. Look at the cutscene. Oh, it's cutscene. Damn, he doesn't even have legs. Shit. Knight. He must be the product of the venomization. He don't even have any legs or arms. Shit, he's just floating. Well, he definitely looks vicious enough. <laughs> Not as vicious as our velvet, though. Always true. I don't feel like you're gonna be super easy for some reason. Let's see. I guess I could sub Eleanor in. Oh no. Look inside. All that was he? 34? Oh, there he got knocked on his ass. Oh, I do hear the voice. It's like whispering in my ear. They actually hit some of these bubbles. Oh, he got stunned. I wonder what this is gonna do. Oh, uh, armor. Oh, what? What? I killed it? I thought he had like half an HP bar. Yeah. I feel something again. Is that where Velvet was? More malevolence? No, another Earth Pulse point. It must be on this island. Oh, I yeah, Velvet so must have been the theory in maybe. It's very close. Directly underneath us, I would guess. Oh, yes, it's in there. Wonder what it is this time. It actually was like such a... Did I really do that much damage with my Mystic Arc to kill him? No way. What is this place? Welcome to the most secure cell in the entire complex. The darkest hole in Titania. Feel anything, Lafayette? Yeah. I think this is the Earth Pulse point. 
that area? If this cell is where the Earth Pulse Point is, then does that mean it housed a Therian? Yeah, me. I mean, Velvet. Yeah. And a real hungry one at that. Every day, they would toss demons into its cell. It would devour its fill, then wipe the blood from its lips. Never once realizing it was delivering to Inominat the malevolence of hundreds of demons and prisoners. And then oh. one day, there appeared before it a female Moloch who shattered the barrier and freed the Therian from its cage. But the Therian knew no mercy, and it devoured its liberator. And it was then... Oops. It was then I obtained the power. The power to avenge my brother! Oh, you see the claw marks on the wall. Velvet, you're a Therian? This prison island was a feeding ground for the Therian, harnessing the malevolence created by the prisoners within. But because Velvet escaped, the malevolence went out of control. Wow, the same darn thing that happened back in Kamoana's village. Lord Artorius would never have done such a thing. Hit him with the Lord again. What's so unbelievable? That he used his wife's brother as a human sacrifice? That he imprisoned his wife's sister? Because that's what your damned holy shepherd did! All to get his hands on Inominat's power! I'm sure he... he had a reason for... A reason? To spare oh. the world of its pain? Don't give me that! He's Who making her more angry. My brother's pain? Who will soothe my brother's despair? He murdered my little brother, Luffy! Then you'll stand there and tell me it was for the greater good? Please bring him back from pain. Rate, that's one less Therian for us to track down. Velvet. How did she hear from all the way over there? What? Did Velvet yell at you so hard you're starting to hear voices now? I have a feeling something's wrong. Kamoana could be in danger. But we already beat the Headless Knight. I still can't shake this feeling. Please, let's go back and check on them. Can we potentially use a fuck? Of course not. It's never that easy, is it? Nope. Oh yeah, let me check out the rest of the cells here. Maybe there's one soul. It's obviously from a dead prisoner. Where does this go? Oh, down. Eh, let's see if there's anything down here, actually. Nope. Funny enough, when Velo escaped from this place, I didn't, like, unlock this part of the map. I can't even remember if we walked out of this way. It's been such a long time. Yeah, I guess something happened. Definitely can't use the bottle. Guess we're walking all the way back. So, Velvet is a Therian, is she? I knew there was something off about her. But it's what she cried out that's really on my mind. Laffy said. Is Velvet truly Lord Artorius's younger sister? She never told me. Yeah, how do you? If it were true, I suppose it would explain her knowledge of Lord Artorius's training. If you're so curious, why not ask her yourself? Hey, Velvet, what's your connection to Artorius? Uh, Rokuro, have some Yeah, tracks. get him, Rokuro. I heard you whispering. It doesn't bother me. Artorius was married to my late sister, Selica. He was our brother-in-law. We lived together for more than ten years. That does explain a few things. So he sacrificed his little brother and turned his sister into a Therian. But we were his family. To his view of the grand scheme, family is inconsequential. The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. All he did was act according to his ideal logic. <sighs> well, enough chit-chat. Let's get moving. 
I don't think Kellor's still kind of on the fence about everything. He doesn't really like pick the side. But she didn't turn Lapiset in back at the capital, so maybe she's not completely for him. But I also don't think she's completely for us too, especially since she keeps calling like Lord Artorias. I think Bell was the only one to know him by Arthur. A Therian who consumes malevolence, and too much malevolence is what changes people into demons. Strong enough malevolence can persist after the person who created it dies, turning their corpse or spirit into a raging monster. That's how undead and phantom demons come about. Then the demons Velvet killed turned back into humans because she devoured their malevolence. Yeah, and consequently, they avoided becoming undead or anything like that. So she saved them. Well, I mean, a corpse is a corpse, of course, of course. Do you uh, think she could devour only the malevolence and turn a living demon human again? Have we been Unfortunately, doing? Unfortunately, that's impossible due to malevolence's self-reinforcing nature. When Therians are connected to Enominot through an Earth Pulse point, they seem to be able to absorb small concentrations of malevolence from the surrounding area and inhibit the creation of new demons. But any human who builds up enough malevolence to turn into a demon will keep producing malevolence as long as they live. That's right. To devour any malevolence, I need to cut it off at the source. That's how my powers work. Velvet, I'm sorry. I don't mind it. Actually, I find it convenient. This way, I'll never forget my hatred for Artorias. Plus, as long as you stay away from an Earth Pulse point, you get to keep the power of any malevolence you consume. Fuel for my hatred, yes. Oh. <laughs> A little whimper. Not fight you. Don't even. Oh, the door closed anyway. I think it's one of the uh, green emblems, diamonds. Let's try this one. I didn't see that little witchy. Oh, Can't help that hit me or not. Interrupt that one. I think the witches are pretty easy. I think it's the gargoyles that are the annoying ones. So there's a flying enemy. I hate those ones. All these things do is just like stand here. Everybody's dead now. Well, I wonder if poison actually does a bit of damage or not. Well then, let's move on. I'm about to fight another boss up here. Either what? Oh, Eleanor's fast. Oh, what the hell's that? A horse? Like a knight or something? Eleanor, you really came back for me. A promise is a promise, sweetheart. Very cute. A headless knight and a horse demon. Do you like evolved or some shit? Off a ton of malevolence. This must be the true survivor of the venomization process. Where you come from? Oh, I get it. The dying exorcist lady wasn't saying headless knight is back. She was going for headless knight on horseback. Oh, uh, we're play. Case, we'll fight whoever we have to to claim this island. <laughs> Now I can't help but wonder how the horse is named. Get close and look. Let's see. Armored Undead Fiend, 34. Oh, I forgot the Fidelinor back in. Oh, he does seem a lot more tanky. The other guy was kind of getting like sun left and white right, but this guy is pretty tanky. They keep 
stunning me. I stun him back. Oh my. I tried to dash away with dash forward. You guys should like run away. I literally can't get any more because Soul Gauge. I need a lot of damage. Oh my god, he keeps stunning me. Oh my god, get more gauge, please. Oh, this is never gonna work. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh. Oh. I got all my gauges. I can just get... Oh, I got paralyzed. Wonderful. First stalemate in the game. Oh my god, I hate it. Open face? God, stun him, please. What the hell is this? This was like the worst fight so far. Oh my god. The hell, the other guy. He can stun. Okay, dead. I think. There we go. That was actually pretty difficult, I'd say. I think I rope rope managed to get the last hit on that. That's venomization, all right. Definitely stronger than that headless lump of armor. I beg your pardon? Not <laughs> you. <laughs> oh no. The demon from the, the heck is that? No, look. It's absorbing the malevolence. It's Ethereum. Yeah, it's the one Actually, from the that hawk is Griffin. My one and only friend. My then. A damned Therian. So that's what Tabitha meant when she said we'd find out shortly. But your highness, why do you have a Therian? Is it not the one from the, like the bird said, from the villa? Griffin has been my it's dear it's friend ever since I was a child. Even if he's a Therian now, that hasn't changed. I guess that's pretty so cool. So you knew you were helping a Therian escape. What are you plotting? I have no plots or schemes. I just want Griffin to be free. What the beetle can be own size? The crown prince and future king. He's gonna do whatever he likes. <laughs> I suppose I am at that. But if I am, it's the first time I've ever been allowed a choice of my own. When you're a prince, you're not a person. You're an institution, one designed to serve the state and its people. Say, for instance, you're doing your law studies and your back suddenly itches. What do you do? I mean, I'd scratch it. Who wouldn't? When Prince. I did that, my tutor gave me a whipping so hard the blood ran down my back. What the hell? The reason being that I prioritized a personal feeling, that is to say my itch, over my studies in service of the state. Uh. Seeing Griffin lay claim to the skies, let me imagine my own freedom. It was my lone solace over the years. But then, he turned out to be responsive to Inominat's power. Goodbye. I take it the Midgand royal family is well aware that the Abbey is creating Therians? Of course. How could we not? The kingdom offers unequivocal support to Shepherd Artorius's vision of reason and will. Even so, 
If there was one thing I could never permit, it was seeing Griffin locked up and unable to fly. Never. I tricked the exorcist on guard and disabled the barrier. But then Griffin attacked the exorcist and killed him. No. That's why you said you could never go back. Eh, they can overlook a single dead exorcist, but with Etherian removed, malevolence will engulf the capital. I knew full well what I was doing. And yet, I couldn't watch my friend's life be stripped away. Your Highness. He chose a single bird over the world. Just the capital, Why not do you the world. Think that birds fly? Uh, that's what Lord Artorius asked me. My anatomy book says birds can fly because their bones are light and their wing muscles are enormously strong. No, you birds fail. fly because a bird that cannot fly is no bird at all. And that's what I think. I understand now. As long as you remain on this island, you may do as you please. But if you try to escape, I'll kill you. That should work. This way we'll have him on hand if we ever need a hostage. Understood. Win win. I appreciate you letting Griffin and me stay here. I mean, we need it there well, anyways. Now that that's taken care of, let's build ourselves a hideout. How do we do that? Oh, it actually gives us quite a bit of XP. Oh, I didn't see what that said. Probably a skill. Well, unfortunately, we can't go back, but I think we learned three. Master, actually, we learned everything. Holy shit. Uh, plus one maximum BG to characters. Oh, that's cool. So what? We have five now? I don't know. We'll see. Hey, Velvet. Do you know where Eleanor is? Wasn't she just playing with you? Yeah. Oh, she's doing some but suspicious. Then she left. I'm worried because she looked pretty sad. Can you go find her? Why me? Yeah, seriously. Why me? <sighs> all right, all right, fine. Just don't cry on me, okay? Unfair. I know it. Let's talk to everybody in here. Oh, not you. You're not important enough. Where's that? Oh, he's probably up upstairs. You guys drinking some sake over here? Hey, Rokuro, have you seen Eleanor? Uh, probably. I oh, he's drunk. Get drunk. Just try not to go overboard. But, man, are we a bunch of screw-ups or what? I mean, we kidnapped a prince now. <laughs> they got what a, what a meme. Out of prison, flattened hell of these, tried to assassinate a shepherd. Hey, oh. how many infractions do you think we're on the hook? Pardon me if I Too don't many. stop and count. If you don't like it, nobody's for- No, I still haven't repaid my debt to you. You say that, but you really just want to beat Shigure, don't you? Whoa. To me, they're both connected. It's a long story, but... I'll pass. Well, joy... Can't. I'm 19. Bears. Huh. A most interesting interpretation. Hmm. Well, if you pronounce it Loney, Kyle, then it'd mean midriff. Would maybe... Muse Mila? Well, that would make this passage read, Porges are nummy. Uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, What's to me. wrong, Velvet? Have you seen Eleanor? No, I haven't. Sorry, I know I'm so. Just read somewhere where there's more light. Uh, okay. You know, no light in this, but I guess there's fire torches. Hey, you got any idea where Eleanor is? No, sorry. I was having a meeting with Benwick and the crew about our search for Eifried. Are you sure you're okay with putting that off? At this point, the Abbey doesn't have much reason the to keep thing. him alive. Wouldn't you rather look for him than there? I know time is a factor, but we still don't have any decent leads. 
I think we need to stir up the Abbey and see what shakes loose, and who better to do that than you? So this works for both of them? Never fear. I'm still acting out. Besides, I freed... He's a strong man. It'd take a lot to bring him down. Yeah. I've never seen him flinch from a storm. No matter how... Where angels fear to tread, as they... <laughs> Probably some of that as well. Why do I feel like I freed's like a... gonna be a bad guy now? It just seems too mysterious. Hey, any idea where Eleanor went? How should I know? I'm too busy to spare any time worrying about anyone else. You look pretty busy. How? Unoccupied to me right now. Right. I'm busy being unoccupied. You're That's what I would what? say. <laughs> it's simple. When you have free time, it means you're busy trying to avoid having any business to do. You're too weird for this world, Mogulu. Says the woman with the world's blandest personality. I always figured you'd be the type to take off as soon as things got hairy. So what keeps you here? He's I'm in it. Utterly, completely, totally, wholly devoid of anything else to do. Which is to say I'm unoccupied. Right. Now you get it. Besides, I have to stick around to see how our bet turns. The bet of what? The gold? Oh. Oh. Outer path. Does that mean it went this way? I think this takes us to the outside. This is where we escaped the, the first time. If not, I guess we'll just backtrack it out. It looks pretty soothing. Wait. It, it says it's here. Uh, she on top of the tower? Damn. Unfortunate. I guess... I'm not entirely sure how to get to the top of the tower, but... I guess I would just have to figure that out. Or I should be up at the tallest top of the area. I do vividly remember some uh, ladders somewhere. I'm assuming at least there's gonna be no mob, so it's gonna be an easy walk. Oh, there's actually like people in here. How do we lose all three? What the fuck? Yeah, there's actually people. Uh, I'm just gonna have to go through all the uh, accents for. Entrances to find. What the heck is this? Oh, the the info. He had a skull on his head. She like. Oh, there's a dove over there. I'm pretty sure this is where she's at. The fact he didn't see her come up here. Oh nope. Yes, there's another tower. Wonderful. Um... Oh. The watch. I think that's where the, uh, they said it was at. Actually, these doors just kind of stayed open. Oh, there's been, like... Can we just... Straight, I guess we can. Yeah, there's a lot of people in here now. All we had to do was kill the demon, and now everything's just cleared. Ah, let me this one. Yeah, here we go. I'm pretty sure I did see the Northern Watchtower something something. There we go. I didn't know she could get so far apart from Lot that since they're like tethered. There you are, Eleanor. Kamoana's worried about you. You actually came looking for me? 
can't say no to a crying child. He can. Uh, indeed. She may be Ethereum now, but deep down, she's still a lonely little girl. That's something I've come to realize in traveling with you all. Wretched demons and Therians, even the Malakim who I'd only thought of as tools, they all live and think as humanly as the rest of us. <clears throat> I was so clueless. I didn't know what demon blight really was, inside? nor what the Abbey was doing. Through it all, I... I knew nothing beyond blind belief in whatever I was taught. Ignorance is bliss, as they say. The coward's path is not that of an exorcist. Okay. They may say, I didn't know anything, so I can't be blamed. I can't... I can't live like that. Oh, now she's crying. I think I'll stay here a little longer to cool my head off. Please tell Kamoana I'm all right. Don't stay out too long. The sea breeze can get cold. <sighs> Thank you. Mommy Velvet over here. Idea. If you got sick or something, Kamoana and Lafis that would worry. Mm -hmm. That's all. Oh. Ellen went to sleep. That's the sleep music. It is foggy. Was it like this before? Look, Ellen Wan is a bird. I have something to say. Of course you do. There's something I've been hiding until now. I've been acting undercover on a special mission for Lord Artorius. Oh, no. I was to watch over the Malik Lafayette and bring him to Abbey headquarters. So vital was the mission. I was to do whatever it took, even kill my fellow exorcists. You were going to take me to them. Oh, he's sad. I'm sorry for deceiving you, Lafayette. Originally, I was going to get you to lower your guard, then take you in. However... I no longer intend on following the Abbey's orders. You're turning your back on Artorius? No. I still believe in the oh sincerity of Lord God. Artorius. That the world he seeks is one that will benefit all humankind. But nevertheless, I simply cannot bring myself to condone the methods he has chosen to achieve that vision. So... Hello, 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 I will help head you tilt. protect the Therians until I discover the answer I seek. Then fight us, Eleanor. I want to live a life that I don't have to be ashamed of, and to do that, I have to learn the truth for myself. <laughs> <laughs> so you live by your emotions after all. Maybe you found your own creed. Welcome to our wonderful world of wickedness. You tell him. Don't equate us. No, to act in opposition of one's feelings is to act opposed to reason. You never make things simple, do you? You should be glad I don't. Yeah. After all, she's my vessel. Yes, yes. <laughs> now we're all a bunch of a group of friends. The power of friendship. So, I think our next order of business is to find ourselves another Therian. I wonder how many well, are left. That's the extent of my insight. Anyone got any actual Good leads? job, Prokuro. What if we had Eleanor swipe some intel on them from the Abbey? That could work. I don't know. It wouldn't work. Officially, the Abbey still considers her a traitor. So who would leak anything to her? Yeah. Besides, we can't put Lafayette in danger like that. And anyway, Maybe the Eleanor's knows. terrible at being a spy. That's true. Ungracious, but accurate. You know that special underground cell from yesterday? Special? I want to go back there. There's something I want to try oh. out. Oh, Lord Velvet was in? Alright, let's go. I'm shocked. Lafayette, Me too. I must offer you an apology. What for? For spying. 
I was plotting to take you back to the Abbey. I am truly sorry. It was your mission, wasn't it? Somehow I think I always knew. You... I mean, Velvet and Aizen. Call it a hunch. Besides, Velvet was really suspicious of you. Whenever you feel you're doing something wrong, you start to sweat a lot. It seemed odd. Oh, no. How long have you known? Ever since you became a vessel for me. I think Velvet knew, too. <sighs> That's quite a shock. I failed completely in my role as a spy. <laughs> it's pathetic. Shameful, really. That's true. Well, I think it says something good about you. Huh? Someone who can't lie well seems like a better person than someone who has an easy time of it. Thank you, Luffy said. so. I think you're the better person here. I wouldn't go that far. I would. Hmm? Oh, get out of here, Bianfu. What are you doing here, Bianfu? I was hoping you'd let me join in! We're in the middle of something important. Please leave us be for now. I'll be quiet. Just let me hang around, all right? Afraid not. Bien! Madam Eleanor is a mealy head! Okay. She's a what? Meanie head. Oh, said, Thank you. I hope we can stay friends. I hope so too, Eleanor. Maybe she's not a hey, meanie Bianfu, head. I have a question for you. I know Magilu likes to call herself a witch and all that, but what is she really? The obvious guess would be that she's an exorcist, but I don't think I ever saw her name in the roster. That's not surprising. She is indeed a bona fide dark witch. Bona fide. I saw one night just how scary she could be. It's enough to keep you awake at night. <laughs> I got be shocked. Near the crater of a volcano. Above the bubbling magma sat a huge cauldron. Inside the cauldron, a blood red liquid stickily simmered, boiling in the hellfire heat. When droplets splattered onto Miss Magilu's cheeks, she just cackled and licked it off. And she kept the cauldron boiling for three days and three nights. What hey. was she making? Strawberry jam. Oh my what? god. What's scary about that? I was just getting to the scary part. Instead of using sugar, she put in soy sauce, cooking wine, and liquor. Soy sauce and strawberries? Is that normal? You wouldn't think so, okay. but that contrasted sweetness, sourness, and saltiness actually makes it taste great. Not that someone like you would understand the appeal. You have to have a refined palate like mine to appreciate Guys, always bragging. Wait, I've heard of that. You can boil things in soy sauce and wine to preserve them. When you do it with strawberries, it's called strawberry soup. That's right! Actually... Strawberry soup has sea urchin and abalone, not strawberries. It's just called that because the sea urchin plumps up like berries. And it's not preserved either. Really? Well, I had no idea! Me neither. Wow, I really liked it too! I wonder if the reason she's never made it for me again is because she realized the mix-up! Now that I think about it, that's not the only thing I liked that she made one time! Oh, like no. Like durian jellies and the candied sweet fish too! I think I see what's going on here. What does the food she's made more than once taste like? It's just normal stuff, like what you guys always have. Only a truly scary witch could hide that much cooking talent behind such plain tasting food with no one the wiser. Uh, sure. <laughs> I know this smell. Yeah, it's Prince Percival's fragrant wood perfume. When I told him I'd never smelled it before, he put a little on my sleeve to try it out. I love the smell of the royal family's perfume. It's distinct, but not overpowering. It's made from Fandaria trees, conifers that grow in a snowy land. I've noticed that you and Velvet and Mogilu smell nice, too. Do you all wear the same perfume? We do? We don't use that stuff, but maybe you're smelling the soap we use. Oh, can only the royal family wear fragrant wood? No. Some fragrances, including the Fandaria scented ones, only the royal family can use. But most don't have any such restriction. If they all smell so good on humans, why doesn't everyone use them? You know, I've never thought about that. Why do you think that is, Aizen? It's, not a human. it's a bit complicated. To explain it right, I'd have to start with the history of bathing in Midgand. 
A few hundred years ago, people believed they would die if they took a bath. They were so terrified of baths that they wouldn't even go near one. I can't believe people would Wait, be what? scared of taking a bath. Why would that even happen? Well, at the time, a deadly plague was running rampant, and people thought that it could be transmitted through bath water. Bear in mind that this was all before we had proper plumbing or techniques to purify water. People couldn't just bathe anywhere. Sewers like the one we used to sneak through Logris are a fairly recent construction, only around a century old. Some people even thought bathing at all was unhygienic. Right. As bathing went out of style, the royal family started to use these fragrant woods. Covering up their bad smell with a good one. Yep. As a result, their perfumes used to be far more potent, to the point where you couldn't even tell if it smelled good anymore. But nowadays, nobody actually believes that bathing can make you sick, right? As civilization advanced, plumbing became widespread, and baths themselves became much cleaner fixtures than they used to be. And the fragrant woods fell out of favor because they were no longer necessary, right? To the contrary. As the people gained prosperity, the perfumes became a popular display of wealth. The newfound popularity didn't last long, however, thanks to the propagation of a new disease. One that didn't transmit through baths. Demon blight, you mean? With the rise of demon attacks, life outside the city walls became increasingly difficult. Makes With fragrant sense. woods now harder to come by, the perfumes once again became the domain of royalty. I guess that means that fragrant woods share a long and complicated history with plagues. To cover up the truth of malevolence, the powers that be spread rumors of a demon plague, continuing their time-honored tradition of covering up one stink with another. Oh, that makes sense. So, what do you think of the perfume? Do you like it? Yeah, it smells nice. But I think I like the smell of soap better. Mm -hmm. huh? This island is so amazing! It's far away from any other people and has so much hidden stuff underground! It's such a perfect hidden hideout! Stuff? Just thinking about it makes me so excited to be here! Yeah, I guess. What's wrong? You were so excited to be here before! Don't be such a drag, Lafayette! It's just that this used to be a prison. People were brought here to suffer. If you're worried about how I feel, don't be. If I really hated this place, I wouldn't have made it my base. Hell, I was imprisoned here too, but now it's the secret fort I always dreamed of. I still haven't forgiven the guard who ate all those Maron glaces I was sent. I'll let the past be the past. What part of secret fort are you not getting? The secret yeah. part. But it can't all be just for fun and games here either. In order to maximize the success Party of our battles, we need to maintain and improve this base going forward. This place seems sturdy as it is. Does it really need more work put into it? Nonsense. This place was built to specialize in holding prisoners. We can make it better suit our needs. What are you proposing exactly? Well, I think we need to start with smoke screen generators. What now? They'll be effective against intruders unfamiliar with the layout here. Of course, afterwards we'll have to clean up all the soot, but still. No thanks. I think we need something to put out fires. The fire at Hellebees was really scary. We have Molochim like you who could use water arts, though. True. If anything happens, you can just put it out. Oh, yeah. I guess that's true. What we really need are some secret underground tunnels. If things get too hairy... What do you mean? We're in the middle of the water. escape route. We can put in hidden doors and even some fake ones to trick the enemy, too. We have two separate docks. That's good enough. No enemy is going to attack without taking both docks into consideration. That's why we need to build underground tunnels before anything else. But we're on an island. You know, surrounded by water? <laughs> Where would these tunnels even lead to? Water. Isn't it obvious? We'll dig underneath the sea to another uninhabited island nearby. Oh, that's crazy. There are no other islands nearby. If it means getting my tunnels, I'll build an island too. Are you listening to what you're saying? It sounds like he's daydreaming it's my to me. so happy. And what's wrong with having some dreams? This is a great opportunity we have here. You guys just don't get it. It's okay. I get where you're coming from. But they'll never understand. You might as well save your breath. Oh. 
Let's see here. Magilu. Don't. Much, did you? Fighting is scary. Leave the fighting to me. Um. And I can just keep Rogue Row and sub in Eleanor if I need. Eisen's kind of the outcast. Now we're just going to save it here, guys. Come back in another time and play the rest. I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you.